Now, Action 7 News continues. Tonight was one of the most spectacular events at the Balloon Fiesta. Park. The Special Shapes Galodio attracts thousands. It is by far one of the most popular events in the city. But the big event draws in big crowds, and that means a lot of traffic. And for the second year in a row, Action 7 News reporter Chris Amato has found out how you can get to Balloon Fiesta Park the fastest way. Hey there, Doug. Well, let me tell you what we did. I took this uh, small handicam onto three city buses to get here this evening, and I was able to convince my photojournalist, Dave Hatman, who I work with each and every night to bring you the news, to turn the camera on himself and video document his way in a car through traffic. So who got here first? Take a look. Unless you've got a ride like this, you really only have two options to get to Balloon Fiesta Park, and Dave took option number one. Starting from our KOAT studios at Carlisle and Comanche, Dave took a vehicle and drove to I-25 North and exited Alameda to get into the park. All right, it's uh, 5 o'clock. Let's get started. It wasn't long before Dave ran into some serious traffic backups on the interstate. Alameda is about a mile and a half away, and we are crawling. Dave's foot spent more time on the brake than on the gas pedal while on I-25. In fact, some drivers tried to cheat their way into Balloon Fiesta Park. Meanwhile, I took option number two, public transportation all the way. We're at the first bus stop. My route was determined by stops on city buses. I started at the KOET studios, took a bus to Montgomery and San Mateo, transferred to another bus, and then took a park and ride bus from Cliffs Amusement Park. What's your, what's your time estimate? 15 to 20. 15 to 20? On the bus, we bypassed the interstate entirely and took back roads all the way into the park. You guys, do you always take the, the park and ride every year? We like it, yeah. How come? Yeah, it's very convenient. While I breezed through, Dave found ways to pass the time. Luckily, I brought my uh, beef jerky. Dave Hatman, it's 6.20 and I just arrived. Where are you? I'm still waiting in line to get into a parking lot. Dave finally made it inside the park at 6.50, 30 minutes after I did. We got to give a big thanks to Dave Hammond. It's really difficult to uh, to get our photojournalists to turn the camera on themselves. Now we should mention that our newsroom was flooded after the event ended from people trying to get home. We understand that the interstates were again just as terrible. But Doug and Shelley, we should also mention that we did not get any phone calls from people who were riding the bus. We're live at Balloon Fiesta Park tonight. Chris, show me this KOET Action 7 News. And Chris, this is the second time you've compared driving and taking the bus. <laughs> How does it this year compare to last year? Well, Shelly and Doug, get this. It actually took our photographer, Dave, 20 minutes longer this year compared to last year. So uh, maybe we just had more people coming into the park tonight. So, Chris, let me understand this. We can't talk on a cell phone in Albuquerque while we're driving, but you can put a TV camera on the driver of the vehicle. Is that it? <laughs> oh, we, we, oh, Doug, uh, the, the, the no magic secrets of here. TV, the, the magic of TV, Doug. Uh, <laughs> what, Good we'll, answer, we'll let you Chris. In on those. We'll let you in on those secrets later. Everything was legal. <laughs> Everything was legal. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, as always, Chris. Our partners at the Albuquerque.